we're looking at the solar wind as it impinges on the planet. The solar wind is streaming out from the sun at about a million miles an hour and is able to grab ions from the planet and strip them away from the planet or knock them into the planet at very high speed and knock other stuff off. As you see in both of these graphics, all of the planets, uh, Mars and Earth and the others included, are uh, impinged upon by this flow of charged particles from the sun that we call the solar wind. Uh, these charged particles stream out from the sun at about a million miles an hour, and they impact all of the planets in our solar system. Now, the Earth and Mars have something that is very different, however. As you see on the right panel of this graphic, the Earth has a strong global <laughs> magnetic field, and that magnetic field largely shields its atmosphere from the direct impact of the solar wind. Uh, on the left, on the other hand, Mars has no such global magnetic field, and its upper atmosphere lies completely exposed to the solar wind. As a result, the solar wind can interact with that upper atmosphere and strip portions of it away into space. Now, Mars has only a thin atmosphere today and compared to the Earth, say, or Venus, uh, but it's still thick enough to stop the solar wind from hitting the surface of Mars. Instead, the solar wind is deflected around the planet. It compresses the magnetosphere of Mars, the protected region around the planet, down to about two-thirds of its normal size. And as a result, more of the atmosphere is exposed to these fields that strip away particles from the atmosphere of Mars. In fact, we see that the atmospheric loss rate during this event goes up by a factor of between 10 and 20. So it has an enormous impact on the upper atmosphere of Mars. Uh, sometimes are uh, very uh, are accelerated by this electric field very quickly. As you can see that they form this upward plume from the day side of Mars, which looks like a fountain uh, from the top of the Mars. Uh, meanwhile, some other ions will drift around Mars and eventually escape in the solar wind direction, and they will form this tail behind Mars. How much atmosphere, what's the mass of atmosphere escaping every second? And when we do that, we find that there are uh, roughly 100 grams of atmosphere escaping every second, or about a quarter pound of atmosphere escaping every second. And I can't help but uh, imagine hamburgers flying out of the Martian atmosphere, one per second. Uh, but fortunately, it's instead oxygen and carbon dioxide that are leaving the planet, which are important both for water and for the climate of the planet overall. <laughs>